Jamila. Welcome to my channel. And I just want to come really quick and do a video on my cleaning staples, favorite cleaning products, but the stuff I use to clean with that I like, that I enjoy. So if you're interested, keep on a watching, honey. Okay, so first off, everybody knows about baking soda. I got baking soda. Baking soda, ba 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 baking soda. So you know, good old Arm and Hammer or whatever brand. This is fairly cheap, so I always get this. It's got so many great uses in conjunction with vinegar. I don't use apple cider vinegar to clean, but for some reason, I ran out of white vinegar so you know these two together can do some damage like they can get stains off together if you combine them just sprinkle your baking soda on there um spray and or pour your vinegar on top of it let it sit you don't have to do much work if you have any stuck on anything this this together works magic so um sometimes i throw this in the wash stuck on pots and pans, the stove, the oven, whatever. Like, this is the truth together. Um, then in my little um, caddy of cleaning products, I purchased this um, little basket from the Dollar Tree like forever. Of course, you gotta have you some good old gloves because you never know what you're gonna encounter. When you're using harsh products, I think it's good to use gloves because especially like if you're like me I have long natural fingernails even if you have fake fingernails like using that just makes it so your nails break the you know using harsh products make your nails break and stuff like that um and then just especially when you clean the bathroom even though it's me and my family it's just gross and who wants to touch some of the things you encounter okay come on get fun get, get you some gloves so I like to have these on hand. I got, actually got these vinyl gloves from the Dollar Tree. Um, I have really big hands, okay? And so these, sometimes they work great for me, sometimes they don't, but I mean, they get the job done. Also, um, I think it's a great idea to have you some reusable, oh, if you guys, Jackson's getting his butt changed and he don't want no part of it, so that's him in the background. So I have like some reusable, um, what do you call these, reusable like paper towels and these are the Brillo, Brillo brand, these are also from the Dollar Tree and they're just these cute little, um, little um, cloths, they look like this, they're kind of thin, you can just reuse them. I like to use these for um, my couch. Um, when I seal it with the furniture spray to protect it, I like to use that. It works really good for Windexing and other little spills like that. Um, spills, you know, whatever. Those are nice. Also, microfiber rags. Like, I don't know what I was doing without these. Um, these, um... My, this one my mom actually gave to me and I think she purchased them like from Sam's Club or something like that and this one is actually from the Dollar Tree like these really step up yo cleaning game okay like makes everything shining and popping like I love to use these on my sink and on my stove and on like the glassy part of my stove and also for dusting and different things like that so get you some microfiber cleaning cloths and then also um, sometimes um, I use this easy off for our oven um, this one is the fume free in lemon scent and I mean it is strong definitely use this with your windows open um, my oven had gotten really super bad and I purchased this and Jarvis used it you guys I played him okay told him I didn't know how to clean the oven and he did it <laughs> he's looking at me <laughs> so but this works really good I mean I definitely like the um, baking powder and vinegar mixture that's more natural but if you don't mind the harsh chemicals try this it's really good and then um, also you know sometimes you have to sanitize 
have a little spray like if I if my dogs have an accident I clean it up with this and then I sanitize with this and um they're still lying here this this is so old like I use this sparingly and always have you some disinfectant wipes whatever brand I got this in a huge pack at Sam's Club they work really good they're comparable to the um, Clorox wipes um, this is actually I'm almost out of them so I have to stock up some more but always have you some disinfectant wipes so you can wipe down your surfaces and disinfect them especially when you have kids and then everybody always talks about Fabuloso. Okay, Fabuloso from Dollar Tree. This is in the flavor, I mean in the flavor, in the scent. Don't be drinking it, honey, because I know it looked like some Kool-Aid, but it's not. This is in the scent of Passion of Fruit. And I wanted to try it to um, clean my linoleum because I feel like um, at our rental, it doesn't matter what I do, I can never keep this linoleum clean. I mop probably once or twice a week, depending on how bad it is, and um, I just, it's a high traffic area, it's white, it picks up mess like nobody's business. I'm sure it's probably old, so this cleaned it pretty good, it has a great smell, it is kind of powerful like the scent is strong so if you like strongly scented things pick that up it's lasted pretty good like I've mopped my floor probably about six times with this and you can't really see it but it's only right here and we've used it for some other things but it's a multi-purpose cleaner so you could use it for other things and then oh this is at the bottom but having some sponges like you never know what you're gonna have to scrub and also the brush for the dishes like yes you can sanitize your sponges in the microwave every night after just put it in for like 20 or 30 seconds sanitize your sponge and like it'll help you get the little stuck on things off the counters and off the cabinets and off your dishes so it's nice to have those and these this is the kind with like the the abrasive side and then the regular spongy side and these are the Brillo brand as well and I got those at the Dollar Tree and two sponges for a dollar I think that's a great deal and then you guys I had to find out what the hype was like I had to find out method cleaner I got some method cleaner I picked this up I believe from TJ Maxx this is in the scent pomegranate uh, meth is all-purpose cleaner it's naturally derived and so it's safe for your kids and your pets and stuff like that and um, at first when I first used it I was like I don't understand what the hype is like but it actually really is a good cleaner I will definitely be purchasing this again and you know once we like move and we have like nice granite and um stainless steel and stuff like that i'll be investing in some of those sprays and all those goodies also i like to use palm olive um dish deter dish washing liquid i should say we always get the antibacterial one i also really really enjoy um What's that brand we get? The other brand we get, babe. Uh, Dev of Generation. Seventh Generation. Thanks, babe. Um, dish soap. I really like that. We had that one for a long time, but it ran out, and we had to get this one on a whim. Like, this is my backup one, and of course, this small size is from the Dollar Tree as well. Um, but Seventh Generation, I think it cleans dishes amazing. I really enjoy the lavender and mint, I believe, and also the one we tried last time. If you have not tried that one, pick you up some, and it lasts a really long time, and I feel like I just use a lot of dishwashing liquid. Okay, so for my bathroom, I really like um, seventh generation um, toilet cleaner. This one's not too shabby. There's one that I also tried from my local health food store. I can't remember the brand, but that was really good. But I'm not going to lie. I feel like the best toilet bowl cleaner I have ever used was by the brand called 
the works and I think you can get that from the Dollar Tree and also the Lysol one. I'm gonna like buy it and like put it to the test and see which one's the best but I mean for using natural products this one's pretty good. Um, it has a nice smell to it. And then for my bathroom I like to use a soft scrub. This is um, with bleach to sanitize. You can use it for your kitchen sink, showers, bathroom, sinks, and toilets. I do use this in the toilet as well. Um, it works really good on the bathtub. Um, I haven't used it in my kitchen, but I'm gonna try. But I like the way it like really scrubs everything off, makes it shiny, and it's popping. It's kind of gritty a little bit, and it kind of, you gotta make sure you rinse it off really good because it does leave like a little residue if you don't rinse it well. So that's it. And then a while ago, I purchased the um, O Cedar Spin Mop in a bucket. I don't know if you can see that. It's really cool. You, it's got like this, I, I don't know, are these considered microfiber? I'm not sure, but it's very absorbent. You put, put it in there and um, step on the pedal and it twists around and spins out all the excess water. Like this, this mop is pretty good. Like it's really good. I like the bucket. It's nice quality, it's sturdy. I had one other O Cedar mop that I really liked where you make your own solution. And I would do vinegar and water or water and ammonia and you spray it. I don't know why it got plugged up. I'm gonna try to take a little needle to where the solution comes out and see if I can like unplug it. I really enjoy like O Cedar products and I would definitely, why are you shaking your head? I would definitely purchase any of their other products but I love this mop and like on my floor like I said before it is just so dirty all the time like I don't even get this floor I don't get it I don't know but it does a really good job and if there's something stuck on there it works really good and I love that you don't have to bend over and hurt your back or put your hands in nasty water and squeeze it out or whatever you know you can just spin it around and it's really super affordable like I cannot remember how much I paid for it I will leave I'll find it because I purchased it at Walmart and I'll leave the link so if you want to purchase it you can and then also lastly I bought this brush forever ago like I still lived at home when I bought this it's just from the dollar store and I use this to clean our bathtub I really like it it get, I mean, it gets everything really good. It's a really good quality, sturdy brush, good bristles. I just sanitize it with bleach. And like, it's so good. I haven't ever even thought to replace it. It's not really gross or grimy or anything. So I mean, I've been to the Dollar Tree and I've tried to find something like this and I haven't, but I mean, for like, how sturdy this thing is it's like really great quality um so i use that to clean our bathtub and that's pretty much all i use but i think it's a good thing to invest in the things you like to clean your house because it just makes it more easy for you or whoever's doing the cleaning which happens to be me but that's it you guys I hope you liked it let me know some things that I should try or if you've tried any of these things if you've heard of them and I will see you in the next one if you are new I would love to have you be part of the YouTube fam bam so subscribe ding the little bell so you know when I upload I usually upload Monday Wednesday Friday and if you're one of my oldie but goodies hey girl like it's so good to see you even though it's through the screen hey boo but we'll see you guys in the next one do says bye